Hello YouTube, it's my lucky day. It's a Saturday and all three cars are in the process of breaking. So I have a lot of content coming. Last night, went to start yesterday afternoon, 5.30ish. Started up Ragnar, the V70, went to drive to Boulder and immediately went into limp mode, wouldn't accelerate. Pulled out the OBD2 reader, connected it. P0068, which is a MAP, MAF throttle position correlation. Wouldn't really clear. Drove it around the block through the neighborhood a couple times, cleared it out, and finally it drove fine to Boulder. Came home last night, went to Costco on the way home on the highway, everything was fine, everything was great. Uh, drove to Denver today, um, had a match at DU, great match by the way. Almost there, I-25, cruising past Mile High Stadium, almost to Santa Fe, limp mode, out of nowhere, just bam, limp mode. Uh, reached, still, had, still had the OBD2 reader sitting on the seat, reached over, grabbed it, plugged it in, Kept it floored to roll up over the hill over Santa Fe and Broadway for I-25 South. Made it over the hill, uh, pulled up the codes, and it had two this time. P0068 was still there, the MAP, MAF, throttle, position, correlation. This time it also had a P0221, throttle, throttle pedal, position, sensor, switch B, circuit, range, performance, I think is what it stands for. It threw those codes back in September. They cleared. I was driving over one evening, selling some, selling some Volvo parts from Craigslist, and they came on. I cleared that. Both of those codes were there, and I cleared them out two months ago exactly. So they came back. So today, we're going to start on the throttle position sensor behind me. There was a short posted this morning. I literally woke up with my wife stranded in Broomfield off of US 36 and Wadsworth. Uh, the XC70 threw a P0228. Uh, solenoid on the exhaust cam, the, the exhaust cam solenoid was not working correctly and the car was not running. It would start and then die. Start then die. We towed that baby home. There's a short of, uh, well, this video that'll be on the next one for that one. There's a short posted today of us waiting for the tow truck. So that one needs repair. The minivan anticipates it does need a head gasket. We'll do some more on that. There was a couple shorts with some bubbles in the coolant tank. Um, smells a little bit like antifreeze when it starts, when it first starts up and it's set a couple days. Runs a little funky for 30 seconds. Um, and then it, it seems like the head gasket as the engine warms up is sealing closed. So it's a ticking time bomb, literally. Uh, so yeah, woke up, wife stranded, drove this car, which had thrown a code the night before, um, drove it over with the van that needs a head gasket, drove it over, switched my wife from the cross country to the van, Cross country would not limp mode home, waited for a tow truck, got it home, came back with this car, hopped in this one to go to my game, and it threw codes on the way and went into limp mode. So it's a fun day. Games are over. It is beautiful in Denver. I'm stuck in the garage working on cars. Hope you're having fun with me. We'll see what's going on in here. We are going to pull, see that down there? We're going to get underneath there. we got to get underneath here. Where's that? Got to get underneath the intake manifold. Throttle body sitting underneath there, mounted from below. I'm hoping I can just uh, get in there. We're going to clean it with some throttle body cleaner and see if we can just get it to start working again, but it's just gummed up a little bit. So let's hope that is that simple. All right, let's give you a quick layout. So air comes in through here. This is the initial cold air intake. Comes in here through the air filter, through the mass airflow sensor right here inside there. We might clean that out again. I cleaned it up about a month ago. Um, it flows in here to the turbocharger, comes, gets pressurized in the turbocharger back there behind this. It's sitting down below, way back down there, super hot. I'm not touching that right now. Just drove home from Denver. Comes across the top in the charge air pipe. The boost bazooka coming across. Goes into the intercooler down below, comes across, cools off from the airflow. Comes back right down in there. There's a big pipe coming out. Comes back flows in underneath this air intake pipe. See the one down here, my finger's touching? This one. So the air is cooled down in the intercooler now, but still charged. Comes across, goes underneath the, this is the, the silver right here. This is the air intake manifold. But see that right there? I'm touching it with the pin. That right there. That's my throttle body. So I'm hoping, God, it's really awkward to get into this thing. Four bolts hold that on from the bottom. Get into that. I'm gonna pull it apart, take it out. I gotta remember how to get all this off. It is not easy. It's hard to get to because it's upside down and backwards. So yeah, that's where we're headed. All right, just went around the back and I disconnected the negative terminal on the battery because if you watch my um, oil trap PCV system video that I have out from, oh, back in March, April, 
uh, when I did that uh, two, three years ago, last time I was in here actually, I made a connection to the um, starter so uh, power lines down there and it made a big arc up here to the intake manifold and luckily didn't fry anything or the throttle body. So be sure to disconnect those because if you're messing around in here you don't want to tap that or hit anything electrically sensitive. So disconnected those. I have pulled off uh, this vacuum line down here, this vacuum line up here, they're actually sitting right here and my pulled them out of the way. Bazooka I disconnected just to get it up and out of the way a little bit. Um, already disconnected, loosened up this air hose that you can see coming back from the inner cooler now. And gotta figure out how to do all, all this from the bottom. All right, YouTube giving you a quick update. Sorry, I can't really set a camera up and do this when I'm all by myself out here tonight. So I'm just gonna get you in pieces as I go. The return the from the supercharger into the throttle body, the piping is off. So here's, the, here's how it works. It comes sitting in this orientation pretty much comes out of the intercooler charged air cooled down is coming into here flows across we got two sensors on here I think one is temperature and one is I don't know one's temperature I don't know what the other one is I'll have to look those up I'll put them down below what those are but there's two sensors they're sitting right here they come off really nice and easy I did take off the um, vacuum line off of here that my uh, boost gauge is operating off just pulled it off to get it out of the way so I don't damage it and then this goes up underneath into the throttle body which you can see right here but this is a hard little uh, bugger to get off that is not easy there is a uh... actually where did it go I gotta find it I don't know where my little hose clamp went for that side yeah I'm missing the hose clamp so gotta find it it's in there somewhere I got the pan on the bottom so it didn't fall through to the floor might make finding it harder so we shall see but yeah I got this out it pops off pretty easy now there should be four bolts holding the throttle body on from the bottom. Yeah, and there's a connector there. You can see that connector cable coming in right there just behind the fan control motor. So get those four off. We should have a throttle body out. We can see how dirty it is. You can see this is the side coming out of the intercooler. You can see a little pooling of oil in there. I do know that these do run oil. Just It, comes, it leaks through the um, turbocharger. So it's coming at, from the turbo, there's a little bit of oil that gets through, and then it comes through the inner cooler in the system, does come back, does go into the throttle body through into the intake. So those do get gummy over time, and these throttle bodies can get kind of gummy and stuck. So hopefully that's what's causing this P0068 and P0221 codes. But we'll kind of clean this up, we'll kind of wipe it out. It's not really bad down in there, just a little bit more over here. But I'm pretty All right, sure... YouTube. Pulling out that fan made it a lot easier to see what the hell I was doing upside down and backwards on the throttle body, pulling it through here. So pulled that out, created a lot more space. I did lose one of my, um, the throttle body, uh, the intake hose that comes from the intercooler over here underneath, turns up. I dropped the band clamp. Um, when I was getting it out and it is somewhere in there. I have no idea. I've been looking for it. haven't found it. The other thing I dropped working upside down and backwards on the last throttle body bolt was my small stubby extension and my 10 millimeter socket and it landed. Remember when I put in the um, air shield underneath the uh, on a couple of videos ago? Yeah, I heard it land on that and then it rolled and it's back underneath the pan somewhere and I got to take that off. So I'm going to have to jack this up in the air and pull the pan off. Luckily, I still have my ratchet and a 12 millimeter sitting here. So I'll be able to do that. But the throttle body's sitting over here. Let me grab a light. I'll show you what we got. Here's the throttle body. Here's the, uh, this is the intake side. So it's not super dirty. Not as, you know, not... I don't know. I thought it'd be worse than that if it was having an error code. And here's the top side. So here's the clean side. It opens up. But yeah, I'm going to clean it up. Maybe it's just gunky on when it's spinning or something? Don't know. Maybe on the little uh, little edges of its little ax axis there. Going to throw some uh, throttle body cleaner in there. Let it soak. Alright YouTube, I cleaned this out with some uh, throttle body cleaner. Way cleaner. Still some little gip dips of little black down in there but cleaned out all the way around the edges I'll flip this over and let you see what I did Oop, wrong way there you go that's probably too bright yep see how much cleaner that is now 
We'll see. I remember cleaning this once before, so I think I had it like this once before, and it ran fine. So we'll try it again. And I do have, you'll see on here, this phenolic uh, throttle body spacer. It's supposed to keep the heat of the intake manifold coming from the engine block through the um, intake manifold from heating up this throttle body. So yeah, I have this phenolic spacer on there, with these two little gaskets. So now I gotta see, is it possible for me to get this all back together, upside down and backwards, back in there? Yeah, hey, look what I found. I didn't see this sitting in there because it was all black and it was kind of just sitting like that, not shiny. And it was landed in there, kind of down on the, just above where the starter's sitting. It had fallen off and set in there. So didn't see it because it wasn't shiny. And three bolts, 313s off the front of the air shield underneath. And out fell my extension. So things are looking up. What are the chances I can get this back together? Got it up in the air now, just a little bit so I can get under the sh air shield, three bolts. Just have, let's see if we can see it. I just have it sitting down just a wee bit. You can see it hanging down just a little bit there. I'm going to leave it like that because chances are I'm going to drop more stuff. Let to get there in. be progress. Throttle body is back. It is in. Um, this is so much easier without that fan sitting in there. There's so much more space to work on. My elbows hurt because I kept hitting them on the back of this. I need to make sure I can straight out some of these fins I whacked with the ratchet. But it is back in there. It's tight. It's connected. All I gotta do is drop the fan back in here, get it reconnected. I have absolutely no idea how I got that fan shred out of there with that radiator hose on, but I did. I may have broke these transmission cooler lines, little green tabs. Not sure on that. I think I have extra ones. So hopefully that is still in there secure. We will find out here shortly. But I did have to make an absolute freaking mess and pop the upper radiator hose, drop some coolant just on there before I could pull it out just to get that back into place. So that is not easy. Not an easy task. All right, YouTube, five hours later since we started this today, obviously I am not very good at this mechanic stuff. I'm winging it as I go, but it is back together. It's all plugged back together. I cleaned with mass airflow cleaner, um, the mass airflow sensor on the up by the air filter box. Pull that out, clean that again. That was cleaned about a month ago when I put the new air filter in. I also pulled on the intake tube that goes underneath to the throttle body, like my arm sits in there. Goes like that. All right, here they are. So here's a sensor. This is a mass MAP, mass air, air pressure sensor from the intercooler coming back into the throttle body. And just past it is an intake air temperature sensor. So I cleaned those. That P0068 is actually a correlation error between this mass airflow sensor and this uh, mass air pressure sensor. Um, so that could be an issue. And then that 0228 code was the throttle body position sensor. So it was all this one, that one, and that one. It was all kind of gummed up in there. Clean that all up. You saw that. It's looking way better. I'm just hoping at this point it will start. I do need to connect the battery. A lot of pain in the butt stuff uh, getting this shroud back in. I don't know how I got it out, um, but now I'm going to be worried about... Remember the conniption fit video when I popped that um, uh, coolant line from the, um, from the top of the block here? This coolant line blew off right here. Um, just totally popped up and uh, ejected every ounce of coolant in about 30 seconds. Luckily it didn't overheat and I was parking the car when it happened. So uh, yeah, that's been holding and now I just had to pull it off to get that shroud back in there and now I'm going to be worried about that for the next two months if it's going to hold. So I'll be checking it every day for a while. So yep, I'm just hoping it starts at this point. I hope it runs. I hope I don't have more error codes. I hope I didn't screw anything up and we will find out. But man, five hours of this. I need this car to drive tomorrow. I got to go to work for soccer games. Uh, gonna connect a battery and uh, you'll be with me and we'll start it up. All right, YouTube, you're sitting with me. I got one message on the thing. The tailgate is open. All I did was just, I connected the battery. The hood's still open. We're gonna start this up, see if it'll run. And then we're gonna see if we got any leaks. Here we go. Oh my God. It's actually working. Tailgate open. It actually sounds perfect. It actually sounds better than it did today. I might have fixed it. Yay! All right, YouTube, I think I fixed it. 
It ran down the road like a bat out of hell. Ran great. I don't see anything blowing off. Nothing's leaking. Nothing's blowing out. Any fluids. No weird noises. Walk around the back. Hear the injectors firing up front. Back here, we just hear the IPD sport exhaust. Blah, 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 blah. And the jewel lights. Got a, got, a, got a video coming on those soon. Got a video. There's a surprise. I don't want to show it. Something's coming on those. Yeah! Alright, YouTube, that's a wrap.